Hello once again. Uh, this is Rutzel 2023B, organised by the Rutzel Hunter, which is Wayne et al. And uh, thanks to them. Um, last time I played this Escape from New York fellow, I said it was Rutzel, and then I went and posted the result as Itzel, because we're also playing an Itzel. So this time it's really Rutzel, because I can't make that mistake twice. Uh, and, of course, I came close to winning in turn three, then balls up, then didn't make a good effort to win turn four, ended up losing. So let's see if I can try and avoid losing this time. But I'm 0-3 and three against the Snake Man now, so we will see. Uh, let's say hello, first of all. Good. Uh, I do not have independent reds, but I do have remaining application. That's a delight. Let's go. Into Austria. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're going to Yugoslavia. I'm feeling daring. Okay. Um, it probably won't matter if I use the East European unrest in, in our area, but So we have got no four op cards. That's a shame. But we have got decal, which is nice. Um, Arab Israel might be the headline in the absence of something else. Norad is probably going to space. Uh, Warsaw Comic Con EU and Olympics. Uh, what am I just playing games after a long day at work? Is just just a hilarious how glare blind I am. Warsaw packs, right? Yes, yeah, so. Uh, we will go Arab-Israeli war because the coup on uh, Iran is much more likely for us starting. But they get Middle East off, which is a shame. And we get Israel off. But I th still think we go for Iran here. And uh, a three would be great. A one would be terrible. <clears throat> there we go. Well, um, that's a, a, a massive shame. So, we'll see if they wander into Pakistan or Afghanistan. They may just give us another coup, but they don't. They might have spaced, I suppose, but no. Afghanistan and spread no wings. Okay, great. So, what we'll do is we'll decol into Thailand and Angola and Burma. That's fine. We'll set up a choice between France and taking Thailand. Have any think. So they may coup Thailand if they do, we take France. If they move into France, which they do. Okay, all right. <clears throat> we will. We'll take Thailand for to three and move into Zaire because I want to make sure we don't get double cooed out of places. And then we will put DEFCON down. They did just enough to stop me in France, but De Gaulle and Suez are still to go. Oh boy, they've got another four up card. That's a shame. And they succeed in inverted commas. <laughs> Uh, so after all that, I probably will use these two premium rest, will I? Uh, four, five, six. 
No, I'll use Olympic Games, coup Iran, and then... Oh, fail on that. And then... <laughs> we will. That was a two, though, right? Yep, onwards and upwards. Uh, space NORAD and finish by protecting Thailand. So, not the greatest success in cooing. But we're only a de Gaulle duck and cover away from sorting out France. And we've got access to India if we get into Pakistani war to make sure we don't get domination in Asia. Not ideal, though, obviously. None of this has been ideal. Um... So we will space Norad. Come on, Roscosmos. Boo. Not my night so far. And then we'll finish by protecting Thailand. But to Gaul duck and cover and being dealt into Pakistani war would be a nice little hand next turn. And who knows? Maybe I will roll more than a two on a coup. Which would be splendid. You and I on a Nasir, which seems sensible. I mean, I don't know. Middle East is scored, but... What do you do with the one influence? Pakistan. Fine. Yep, can't help there. Right, I will. I'm, I mean, because I could go three India, one Burma, one Thailand. The issue is I could get duck and cover, five year plan, CIA. On the other hand, if I play in time, I still got time to take Korea as well. So, yeah, I'll be risk averse, keep the China card, and just overprotect Thailand. Uh, that does mean that they don't have d style or they're just about to space it, which is good for me as well. Space Suez. And NASA does the job. Uh, we can five-year plan away Europe scoring. That's great. And we got into Pakistani war. So I guess the headline is just blockade, right? Yeah, blockade. They duck and cover. So, we will go NATO into India and South Korea? Or maybe we'll go 3 India, 1 Lao, because then we dominate. And if they've got Asia scoring, they have to do something creative. Got D-style away bonus so let's start with that they'll have to take pakistan we can't use a china card so we are going to have to trigger Marshall Plan if we want to take South Korea.
Okay, so we'll do that. That really screws up Europe, of course, I know, I'm well aware. But being able to five-year plan away Europe is nice. And eventing into Pakistani war is speculative, but gets us milops as well. We do need to get some presence in Lebanon. They got the CIA. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna lean on Taiwan as well. Wanna make sure we keep eight. So with Vietnam revolts to come, plus Taiwan, we're in decent shape in Asia. And they're going to be loath to fill Japan, having used it for ops in turn one. And we'll just go for the big one in six in Pakistan. It would be absolute gravy. But we are leaving ourselves vulnerable to Truman Doctrine. Fidel's nice. We'll take Taiwan here. And we can finish with five-year plan, ditching Europe, scoring, shoring up East Germany against Truman. There is only Red Scare Purge left in the deck, and I guess... I guess they could have it. Purge or Duck and Cover both seem reasonable headlines. Go big. Boo. Well, we got the Milops now. Okay. So we will use Indo-Pakistani War. Since we've got the Milops. And it was a 1 in 6. Great. Um, we will drop West Germany and clear out Greece. And we'll see if there's a weird world in which they don't refill Germany, so we don't have to pitch five-year plan. But that seems distinctly unlikely. Okay, good. So we five-year plan. 
will overprotect North Korea over India. Mm -hmm. Eight unknown cards is fine. Do you got Asia scoring? That'd be great. Vietnam revolts is also fine. Did we get there? We did not. But Vietnam Revolts is good. They're just showing up against the goal, which is sensible. So unfortunately, we don't get Asia scoring twice. And they have Asia scoring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, well, that's fine at least. So they've got Truman. Independent Reds, we've got Containment, they've got Asia scoring, and we've got the rest. So they had Independent Reds, Truman, and Asia, and we got Capture Nazi, Containment, Purge, and De Gaulle. So, De Gaulle doesn't do it. SockGov stops a Europe headline, at least, and I think that's as good as it gets. I don't really want to purge them because they know we have purge, and if they have defectors, we don't want to get it defected because it's a complete waste of ops. So, uh... That seems all right to me. Five year sock gov, OG, and nuclear test ban came back to us. And we know that they're going to play Euro Asia scoring at some point. So I think holding five year plan through the turn, see what we can pitch, and using the other cards, which makes the headline not to go or not purge. Captured Nazis is fine. But SockGov might trap them in the headline if they do drop Europe scoring. So it's the only thing that affects the board. So I like that. And we'll bang off a kill on Iran and hope for the bleeding best. We could always space five year plan and hold purge. It's another option. Might be more attractive to purge turn four. Big thinking. I mean, Truman and Independent Reds don't make any sense. Maybe they're going to CIA. Oh, just, just give up on Asia. Brilliant. So we will cut West Germany down to size. As well as cut one out of France for de Gaulle. And then we will use nuclear test ban to coup Iran. Ah, ah, almost an excellent coup. So, could hold five year plan now because we can use purge to take Iraq and Iran if they don't react. I still think we probably want to take Iraq and move into Saudi because NASA may come back round. So if they take Iran, we go three Iraq, one Saudi with purge. Yeah. Yep. So we will overprotect there and there. And then with independent reds coming, we'll go Austria and Finland. And now we will use purge. Take Iraq and move to Saudi. Not the best, but...
they're going to rush to fill West Germany, I guess. Although they have Truman Doctrine, don't they? I mean, what we want to do is get ahead of NATO and brush for Italy, which would be fine. Uh, if they fill West Germany, I guess it means they don't have Middle East scoring, because they'd be playing it now. In which case, we'll take Angola and put another one in Saudi. So, Indy Reds, I expect to fill Germany. Yeah, fairly neutral round for them. That's fine. So, we will take Angola and pop another one. In, actually, no. Just in case they have Middle East scoring all along, which is unlikely. But we're not going to use De Gaulle in Europe, so we will just use it now. That's fine. I don't know how to feel about this game so far. Got to pitch Europe, which is great. Got D-Style back in the hand with deck, which is great. Have expanded Africa, which is great. Haven't gotten to South America, which is not great. Slightly behind where I want to be on the scoreline, but not massively. So, I, uh, I guess about right. Europe scoring can be helped. So it goes. That makes the scoreline a lot less pleasant. But there we go. Um, I was thinking two in South Africa. Start to put pressure on there. AR5, Event Capture Nazi, AR6, Containment, take South Africa and overprotect Angola. Delicious tea from my summit mug. Thank you, Sten Scott. Uh... And then on to mid-war, I guess. Whoever gets Hunter and ABM looks good. Africa go for minus 10 or plus 5. Mm -hmm. Will event captured Nazi. Thank you, Ross Cosmos. So they have three cards, and I don't know any of them. There's not really much time for glory in the Middle East. I could go Muslim Rev after cooing Iran, but with Camp David and Sadat now in play in the mid-war, it doesn't seem super productive to me. Yeah, so that makes that makes some sense. Um, we will pop another one in Cuba. So if they get a spunky realign off, good for them. But if they don't manage to realign, if they now can't tap us for presenceless domination, at least. They need four ops to do that, which they might have, of course. But we'll see how it goes. They're going for it. Uh-huh. Oh, well. It's a wash. 
Well, Middle East we like, and Muslim Rev we really like. Muslim Rev we could do presenceless domination. So, five year plan, Middle East, Cambridge Five and Lads. Panama Canal is annoying. In space duck and cover. Kitchen debates. And. Yeah, that's the nine. So we can either go Muslim Rev and Middle East for presenceless domination, which is 7 VP. Although we give up a coup. Or we could go Muslim Rev, then duck and cover, take Iran. Yeah. Let's go Muslim Rev. It's sassy. Ooh, grain sales. What you gonna get? Ooh. Gonna coup with Panama or give it back? I think they'll give it back and they'll coup either Zaire or Iran. I mean, if they vent it, it seems a snap coup on Venezuela, even though I then lose the Middle East. Yeah, return coup Zaire seems the most likely. Chewing it over. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so we will take the Middle East. Uh, uh, okay. Since I am low to protect Angola. That seems fine. So Sadat and Camp David don't immediately solve the Middle East. So they're looking to ABM Treaty or Voice of America. would love a missile envy now <laughs> not gonna happen anyway i can bid for victory so middle east is as long as i don't frig it up to eight which is pretty nice Ooh, that's sassy. But not Tunisia. Fascinating. So we will repair all those things just in case they were about to soften us up with brush war on Thailand.
If they are now, Algeria makes the most sense. Whoa. Okay. I think we are done with shenanigans in the Middle East and we will just drop for seven. Because we want to plan out the rest of our turn. So the ABM treaty cost us a VP. We use Cambridge 5 to kill on Costa Rica. Space duck and cover. And then if we can space five year plan, we might rather than use Panama Canal returned. Oh boy. Does that trigger kitchen debates? No, it doesn't. That's good. Small mercies. So, we'll use kitchen debates to keep Lao Cambodia overprotected. So Cambridge 5, coup Costa Rica for the Milops. Disappointing. Space duck and cover. And then potentially space five-year plan, I think. We're not looking to pitch a lot, and it just leaves us kind of snarled up with... Like CIA combinatrix. Oh, he's got brush war as well as ABM. Blimey. Well... I'm glad you failed, because that's just greedy. Oh. Got a six. They were. But I would be lying if I said I was not relieved. Uh, 22 in the discard, yeah. Woozed. Very sensible. Sensible all round. So we will space duck and cover. Alright, please don't have one small step. So yeah, f I mean, I suppose actually they could space here, and then I am snarled up again. In which case I could use the China card, but I run into serious trouble if I get dealt CIA, because then I have to space five-year plan an event. At least one, please miss. Arg. So I either use the China card, and oh wait, CIA is in the discard pile. Hey, I should track cards better. Okay, so we will go to Tunisia. Overprotect India. And overprotect... Oh, no, wait. No, we're not going to overprotect India. We need to overprotect... Uh, I guess Botswana's better, isn't it? Because we ought to... Yeah. If they do successfully Kuchinis, we're just giving access to Libya. All right. I'm not sure that that's best, but I'll do it.
Yeah. With ABM and Brush gone, we're in with a shout. So Cube is coming. Brilliant. All right. Onwards and upwards. You uh, and Intervention is in the deck. So We Will Bury You is not superb. And we do want a coup, I guess. So we're going to Pakistani War. Yeah, they've got defectors, so they might just put defectors in here. Uh, where were you? You two. Shuttle camp. I guess worst case scenario is if they bear trap us, and then we will bury you look really good. Portuguese. For Mosa. With Taiwan in our control. Three, six, eight. What have I missed? Shuttle you two. Indo Pakistani war, yeah. So, <sighs> U2 incident is only worth a VP for three ops, which is no good, and we can't guarantee they've got you an intervention. Uh, yeah, we'll just go to Pakistani war, I think. And then we will look to coup Panama if all goes in our favour, right? I.e., they don't bear trap us, they don't do something weird with his Siri. They, no, I don't think. Uh, so they do get We Will Bury You after all that. Fantastic. Blech. That's an irritant. Well, that seems very obvious. Big ol' six, please. Uh, well, we get Milops at least, and the thing to do is level up Central America. Yeah, if these are China cards to jam India, that seems a little weird. But let's not give them a chance. We'll use a three-up card. Oh, no, we have to use Miss Levy. Doi! Yeah, let's just do that. Ugh. So we do have Portuguese Empire Crumbles. I feel like we want to be spacing Camp David, first and foremost. And try and hold on to Panama in case they have to play South America scoring first, although they know we have it. Going for it first. Fails. Splendid. So we have all the time in the world to space now. So let's overprotect India. What can we do? We can tap Angola and hope that they fail to overprotect it so we can flip it with Portuguese Empire. And that's honestly better than anything else I can think to do right now. So I'm just going to do it. Influence in Battlegrounds. Even at a price. Might think I'm just working up to Zaire. Which is definitely an option. Che, great, gets to coup Costa Rica, right? Get some more Milops. No, nope, fail. Well, that seemed inevitable.
I think, do, what's the coup on Tunisia look like? 40% of the time we clear him out. A third of the time we get control. Yeah, let's give that a go. <laughs> My greed undid me. I mean, the other option was just playing into the one stab, or Morocco even, but, you know. So now they get plus one realigns on Algeria. That's frustrating. But it suggests they don't have Africa scoring this to Oh, no, they've just dominated, haven't they? Yeah, disregard. No, going okay, to Libya, okay. So we will go Saharan states in Zimbabwe. I think we event Portuguese Empire crumbles just to make their life slightly difficult. Not for long. And I think we event Panama can now return and hold five year plan in case we then have to punt South America scoring. All right, so we overprotect Poland. And level up Europe, I guess, which is fine because Europe scored, but yeah. Uh, so Africa looks not great. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we'll event Portuguese Empire crumbles and make them fix that. Next up is Space Camp David, and then finally it's probably Coup Cameroon with Panama Canal returned and resigned ourselves to the fact. Well, we may still get Hunter. Hunter's still in the deck. South America's not a completely lost cause. But, you know, things aren't all sunshine and roses. But even getting Hunter and doing like Brazil try and realign Venezuela, Kuzaya realign Angola to get Africa domination is a nice long parlay. Not a likely one. Although with them holding the China card and the Asuri, I suppose maybe the last Panama op doesn't go to Ku Cameroon but goes to Thailand. Someone's got ops. Wow. West African states. What a world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I mean, that makes the case for Coup in Cameroon, I guess. But uh, We're going to space first. I don't think they've got it this turn. We got the space off. Huzzah. Three, six, nine, three. 16, 32 in the discard pile. 33, and that doesn't include shot diplomacy, does it? Oh, man. I failed to track something. What's all plan about? 13 in the removed? Yeah, that's true. 33 in the discard. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 32, 32. Does it include shuttle diplomacy? It doesn't. So I've missed a card. Omit. Hurrah! Back up to speed. Uh, I th yeah, ooh, I think we just used Panama. Oh, nice. Ooh. Uh, 
We're going to use Panama to protect Thailand, which is bland, but blah. Libthy, Hunter, lots of things can save us. Not happy about it. But I'm not happy about a lot of things. In the game, in the game. Hey, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, the scoreline is nice, but, you know, I'm only in Africa, Central America, and South America away from complete destruction. Mind, I'm only a brush war away from Europe domination, so mileage does vary. Decol is still in the deck, so is Defectors. So there's some stuff that could be done, but I think the the key missing cards are Hunter and Salt and VOA, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Lone Gunman or Quagmire, I guess. We got VOA. Can use us not. Uh, what's what's the play here? It's either Lone Gunman or Quagmire. We might get bear trapped. I kind of like Lone Gunman here. If we get bear trapped, we can get a coup off. If they defect Lone Gunman, it goes back in the deck anyway. And if they play a scoring card, we can do something about it in the headline. So let's go with Lone. Also, yeah, we do get bear trapped. We get to see their hand. I and a, a Libthy. Salt Cult Rev. Uh, them getting salt is a little fishy. Alliance Summit. C. NATO. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they have just bear trapped us. So we will coo Zaire. Four, five, or six, please. This is quite a big one. Nice. And we'll pitch VOA. Ah! Not nice. Uh... <sighs> okay. Uh, Yasur is next. Uh, blah, 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 blah. C's worth two at the moment. Boy, yeah, that fell is a bit of a kick in the nuts because the rest of the turn, rest of the, rest of the hand kind of plays itself out. Now they can actually salt to some extent because they know they can get a coup off and pull somewhere something like ABM or brush. Brr. I end up the cult salt alliance summit southeast Asia. So they're either using NATO or Salt, yeah, I, yeah I, I think, if I'm them, I like salting. Knowing they get an AR to do all sorts of stupid shenanigans while I'm in the trap. And maybe more, let's not be fair. I mean, I could still flub the second roll. Wow.
Yep. Ooh, purge. Very nice. Well, the good news for me is that I've only got three up cards to put in the trap. Oh, for f Ugh. <laughs> You're going to have Ent Purge? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, we've got lots of three up cards at least, so Ask Knots next. Hooray! So, they can get a coup off, and then we can get a coup off. And ours will be a one-op coup. Lamentably. We don't really want to quagmire him while they've got Libthy to stick in the teeth of the trap. So we'll see if we can get them to space Libthy at some point before playing it, but yeah. I think we definitely need to hold five-year plan now, because South America is it's in a bad way. Which means quagmire is probably our coup card. Please flop this coup. Oh, nice. So we will stick two in with Kogmar and make them do it again. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Make him do it again. With Alliance, which is currently worth three VP for them, so I might be reluctant to do it. Or cult rev, or maybe the China card. Ooh, yeah, okay. Another one, please. Well, I know that'll do it. Okay, the fun had to end. Uh, we will event South African unrest. And then we'll focus on cooing Cameroon. Again, not great, but it'll do. They're going to use Culture Revolution now they've given us the China card face down. And they'll be looking to Space Liberation Theology. Uh, but all this stuff is somewhat inevitable, and we hold five-year plan in the hope that we can pitch South America scoring to it. Yep, Summit. And now we will coup Cameroon. It fails. Abu. And then we'll have another go on Cameroon, even with a one-op you and intervention. Sea's nice. Three, four, five, six. Oh, three's good. Uh, but I expect to see Cultural Revolution, Alliance Pro... Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm going to see. Not I-N Day. Still holding out for a hero with Hunter. Yeah. Very sensible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We really need to five-year plan those scoring cards away. Uh, we got Hunter, though. Nice. So that means we can probably resolve South America. Right. Uh, so they've got Alliance, Liberty, and Allende, which they held, thanks to Salt. Five-year OPEC and Suez. Diestal. Not too late in the game for that to be useful. NASA and Sadat has been evented. OAS and John Paul. So OAS is the problem card, which also prevents five-year plan being particularly useful. So I think Hunter's the play, and Defectors is the last thing we want to see. And there's been no reshuffle. 
that's great for us because of the whole CIA situation. Yeah, I think I think we have to go Hunter, and if it fails, we coup Brazil and follow up with D style to get into Argentina and Chile. I think Hunter's just right here. Defectors is the likeliest headline as well. Oh, well, dropping DEFCON is fine too. So we now go... I think we just go... To Argentina, coup. Yeah, yes, remove to coup Colombia. Do I want to do that? Um. Yeah, because we're holding Central America scoring. We don't know if they're holding South America scoring. Ooh. Yeah, I think we we do, Coup, because we don't want to give them domination in. So, yes, removed. Cuba, we don't want to give them domination in AL1. Great. So, now we can go. I'm not going to use Suez for sure. So, we'll go to Cuba. One chili. Yeah, OPEC's just not worth a ton for us right now, but then D style's not doing a lot of work. <sighs> I think we're giving up Asia domination here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. So can we get to a one stab battleground? No. No Sudan. No Ethiopia. Yeah, okay. So we're giving up giving up Africa Dom. Okay. I think I'm resigned to that for now. That's fine. If they Playing to Uruguay, we think we read them for South America scoring, and if they drop Africa, we just pop two in. Chile. Could even do it with John Paul, as long as we get ready for solidarity. Yeah. Central America for two. It's as good as it gets. I guess we hold five year plan a little longer. Uh, but in case they have South America scoring, we'll level it up first. <sighs> yeah, we're never gonna we're never gonna get Haiti off. Yeah, four VP is very nice. Can't argue with that. We'll drop Central America scoring. Definitely eventing NASA. I guess we're spacing five year plan at some point. Yeah, definitely inventing NASA. And now I guess we do event OPEC, which means D style gets used for a coup, right? We aren't looking to five-year plan away anything thanks to the reshuffle. So we know holding IN Day and four unknown cards, and we don't think any of them are South America scoring.
Uh, hooey. Okay. What do we think here? Bless you. I mean, that seems fine-ish. I guess they're going to... Yeah, we need to overprotect Argentina and Chile. We'll pop another one in Poland. Uh, I, yeah, I guess OPEC for 3VP is nice, but we need the milops as well, so. That makes sense. That's now very well overprotected. So now maybe we do, because yeah, I guess two mil ops is, we'll event OPEC. That makes sense as well. That's some setup cost. Uh, let's five-year plan OAS, see what they do with it, decide if we're going to coup or if we're going to repair, because it clears our hand out and gives us the opportunity to pull some nice late war cards rather than hold on to five-year plan. Like, if they go to Argentina, we can repair that and go somewhere else, or we can coup Uruguay. 50% of the time it works every time. Yeah, let's do that. Ugh, almost works. See, if they do something with Argentina, they still don't dominate South America. They need to play into Peru to do that. And we are an inch away from war games this way. Well, peace in our time. And we did not get dealt a glorious hand in the process. Ugh. That certainly could have been a lot better. So they got Brezhnev. Decol and special relationship, I think. At least I've not been tracking those properly. And we got South America and defectors. Of Empire. Chernobyl. AWAX. Iran. Contra. Pershing. Marine. And Ortega. Oh boy, not a spectacular array of options. What are they? They could do solidarity, which is a little annoying. They already dominate Europe, though. Star Wars doesn't do anything. Tear down this wall is not great. <laughs> Cal, but they don't get the ops. Uh... Man, the deck is thin. Let's see. Ortega's not much help. Marine Barracks is not much help because of their access. Pershing at least frigs with West Germany and Canada because of NORAD. Iran Contra is nice because of the real ones. But let's start with Pershing. Okay.
guess De Gaulle could still come back, so we'll do France. Give up another VP. Or maybe we just drop South America here, yeah. Yeah, we'll just drop South America. This way we get the last coup if they coup now. Yeah, War Games isn't going to happen, so we're kind of in a bad way now. Not going to make it to final scoring. Very few paths to victory. I suppose a cheeky reshuffle Asia scoring War Games does the job, but we're quite a way off that. Thatcher the Betrayer. Um, we'll have to go into Saudi before AWACS. The flower power is in the deck. Ooh, so Iran Iraq war could still be. So let's use AWACS first and like cover most of Saudi. If they ever on a rock war, we kind of want to hold on to an evil empire long enough to make them squeal. But yeah, I do not, I do not see this game panning out great for us, barring some amazing miracle. Not tear down this wall, I'll see oil. Doi. And then I need to see where it went. Ooh, sassy. Way, hello. Um, I don't mind making him press. I mean... I kind of want the last coup to finish as late as possible in this turn. Ooh, of course, Marine Barracks bombing... Well, it, it doesn't do a ton, actually, does it? Immediately. But we can keep Ops Warring for now. We've still got... Um, what should do? Iranian hostage crisis. And terrorism. Could still, could still leave them in a hard way. But I think it really comes down to what comes out in turn 9 in the reshuffle. And who gets Aldrich. Well, that's nice, because at some point they're going to want to coup this turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably being distracted here, but I'm enjoying the distraction. Well, that's a shame, but then I was probably unlikely to get there. So we will go. Marine barracks bombing. Uh, not marine barracks bombing. I guess an evil empire. If our on a right wall comes off now, that's a shame, but it happens. Although I think I'm reading them for exactly Brezhnev, special relationship and decol.
<laughs> well, <laughs> what are you going to do about that, eh? Can't be helped. Oy. Just goes to show I can't read hands. All right. Uh, that's, that's that. This game is not being won bar some outstanding miracle. Because I don't see ways of dropping DEFCON or scoring enough VP. And War Games is now gone and Saul's gone. So yeah. Stuck it out as long as I could. Entertaining, interesting. But inevitably fruitless. Story of my life. So, the reformer is a fine headline. Iranian hostage crisis, nice, but we don't get any hand shorteners. Um, Latin American debt crisis doesn't really count, does it? Defcon's four. Yeah, I think we event the reformer either way. So, yeah, we can read them for... Because of the reshuffle, exactly. Goal. They did not use tear down this wall. Right, good to know. So that's coming. There it is. Uh, so they've got exactly Aldrich. Glasnost, terrorism, solidarity in Star Wars. Weesh. I know we got solidarity in Star Wars. Uh, Aldrich, Glasnost, terrorism. Okay, so now I get to take a coup. Iranian host crush helps out in the Middle East, so it's a two op coup. Maybe we're using the China card at this point. Yeah. Four op coup on Mexico. Nice. Not sure that's best, but it'll do. So Need to use Star Wars ASAP. We finish with Chernobyl, so Solidarity is definitely going to space. Oh boy. NATO's not in play. Oh well. So we will go there and we'll overprotect Angola as well. That was an interesting event of special relationship. Good to get Star Wars out of our hand. I expect a bit of coup counter coup here, but we've got the arsenal. Okay. Please don't pull Central America. No! Well, I did say please. That's a great result for us. But they've got Aldrich and Glasnost, so they can Aldrich raid Glasnost if they've not got something worse. We are now going to have to take Israel and hope to coup somewhere in the Middle East. But if we could stay ahead in Central America and... 
And now Africa. We might have something going on. Okay. Get Norad back on stream. Let's coup in Cameroon. Set up real lines on Zaire. Oy, oy, oy. Space, no, not so well. Maybe not space solidarity. Finish with Chernobyl. We're not going to win an ops race in Europe. I am really struggling to see the right line here, which is pretty typical of me, right? <laughs> get to the end of the war, get the end of the uh, the match, and start to think about the lines I could be taking. I'm pretty sure I've got them for decol Aldrich and Glasnost, unless I completely miss decol at some point in the game. That also makes sense. That's a terrible coup, though. So we'll definitely coup back. That's also a bad coup, but it's keeping him busy. And now I guess we want to keep him bogged down, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know. We're only a hair's breadth away from getting completely stuffed in turn 10, and they're going to have turn 10. And we've got no ways to shorten their hands, so... Yeah, it's not... not glorious. That's nice, though. So I think we do go for the rear line on Zaya now. Great. And now Angola. Fantastic. And now I think we finish with Chernobyl and go Zaire, Argentina. And one other place. Oh, Sadat's so come back, eh? Well done. So now we finish with Chernobyl and go three Egypt. Aldrich pitching Glasnost. Now we have to make sure we do fade Middle East control. Yeah, okay, well, it's a coup target, even though Norad's in. Yeah. Okay. So we have no idea what their hand is. Africa scoring is great for us. Europe scoring less good. ABM Treaty Jam France. Drop Europe scoring for zero. Yeah. They are, they're headline peaking. So he can't drop Africa scoring and none of these other ones are any good. The only other option is nuclear test ban. Big coup on Italy, which is going to fail. Ooh, very nice. So let's go. Nuclear test ban, coup, Nigeria. Ah! <laughs> to try and get Africa control.
That's a crying shame. But if we could get Africa control off, that's huge. Ugh. Just a single pit more would have been real, real gold. Oi. Flip. Yep. So, reluctantly, we take Zaire and we overprotect Argentina. That's a kick in the teeth. Africa control would have been pretty big there. Like, about 8 VPs worth of swing, including final scoring. And instead, we're just trading Africa for Europe scoring. Which is a bit of a a downer. Ah, oh, ba 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 ba. Oh, it's. It's a close game, but I think that last queue on Africa is probably going to be the VP difference. Well, that especially is now. Because they'll go into the blue. Right. Africa's fine. Argentina is overprotected. So I think we need to overprotect Cuba and add another thing into Central America. Space stuck and cover, event Europe scoring, event repair solidarity is probably best. But we're probably losing to Middle East Dom, Europe Dom, and a turn 10 AR7 break, aren't we? Oh well, good run though. I think I gave this one a good fight. And after like failing to win in the steamroll and so on yeah that's fine that's that's what that is i suppose i hold duck and cover and they they're not yeah they might miss an envy me or something right so hold duck and cover i guess space camp david event repair solidarity i suppose they might hand shorten me So I do have to space duck and cover. It's more likely than being missed as well. Oh well, doesn't matter. Blah 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 blah. Europe six, yeah? Seven. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh well. That's what that is. We had a good run. I guess uh Could always use Solidarity to tap Venezuela to finish. Yo, let's get the fourth one out. So I expect to see a vent of repair here. 
Yeah, that's fine. I give them Europe scoring reluctantly. And then they breathe a sigh of relief. But I think we finish the game by tapping Venezuela with solidarity. And then hope they don't have a four-up card to finish, right? That's a VP with the risk of control. But if we do Egypt, we run the risk of Lebanon being tapped and being presenceless in the Middle East. So we're probably losing anyway, right? So tapping... Hmm. That's nice. What? This seems like a, a weird gift, but I'll take it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't do anything in Europe, but now can pop another one in Poland to cover against Solidarity. In fact, I can do both. And that saves a VP. And then I'll put another one in. Duh, 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 duh. Lebanon to make sure. Oh. Egypt head of company. Yeah, that's fine. Oh boy. Got Milops coming and the China card as well, but I'll finish with Solidarity for sure. Tap Venezuela and leave it up to my opponent to finish. I gave this the best try I could, and that's all I can say. So. Do your worst. They've only got four and a half minutes, so I'm not going to say GGs and start typing and stuff, but I suspect the game's theirs, right? Uh, domination in the Middle East? Seven? Twelve? Uh, maybe not, I don't know. They need three ops to level up South America and dominate the Middle East. I oh, yeah, maybe it's closer than I think, but I feel like if that coup in Nigeria is one pit more, we probably win either way. And then the things like getting the space off in turn 10 also assisted. So I am content that I'm not smart enough to to outpace that. So it's just a, a fun old blast. Let's see what they come up with. We can't be made presenceless just about anywhere, which is good. I think Asia is safe, Africa is safe. So I feel like they need to dominate the Middle East and level up South America. Is probably their best leverage. If they do that, then 16 minus. Oh. Wow. It is close. Wish I hadn't played through the first bit like a complete numpty.
Well, it's not Asia scoring they're holding. They may have VOA. I mean, VOA is probably... Well, VOA doesn't... Thanks to overprotecting Egypt, I can't be presenceless in the Middle East. Okay. Venezuela, Jordan. Wow. We tie. <laughs> well, I mean, I probably would have taken a draw going in. Uh, interesting game. Let me know who left the VP on the table. I honestly think that that turn 10 could well have been mine. They got 50-50 on space and a single pit more on that Nigeria coup and I get over the line. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take a draw. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> but let me know what you think. See what the rage is. Uh, and I will catch you another time. Our next game is next Wednesday, the 22nd. I've got an Itzel game. And I've got another one on the 27th of November, and that's it for a while. So we'll see how December rolls. But thanks for watching. Interesting stuff. See you again soon. Bye for now.